Hi students, in this session, I am explaining some important questions in indefinite integrals, which was asked by high secondary examination Kerala. Let us discuss some important questions in indefinite integrals. Okay. First question is. e raised to x into sin x e raised to x into sin x is in uv form we know that the integral of uv into dx product of two functions first function into integral of second function minus integral of d by dx into integral of second function v dx the whole into dx this is the formula to find the integral of the product of two functions here e raised to x is u and sin x is v u v so first function into e raised to x in integral of sin x that is minus cos x minus integral of d by dx of u that is e raised to x e raised to x itself integral of sin x is again minus cos x into dx now rearranging we have minus uh, e raised to x cos x minus uh, e minus becomes plus integral e raised to x into cos x now it is again in the form uv again applying the product rule we have minus of e raised to x cos x plus here first function e raised to x uh, into integral of second function integral of cos x is sin x minus integral of the derivative of first function again the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into e raised to x into integral of cos x is sin x into x now here we have i this this is also i integral of e raised to x sin x is also i so i here this is i therefore minus i becomes plus i i plus i is equal now e raised to x is common e raised to x into here we have sin x minus cos x plus c therefore twice is equal to e raised to x into sin x plus minus cos x plus c Therefore, I is equal to 1 by 2 e raised to x into sin x minus cos x plus c. This is the answer. Integral of the product of two functions can be integrated like this. Okay. Next question is x sin. 3x into dx. Here x is u and sin x is v. To find the first function, we are using a hint i limit. Here inverse circular function. logarithmic functions algebraic functions then trigonometric functions and uh, exponential functions 
the hierarchy is 1 2 3 4 and 5 generally if we get a function we can find the first function using this hint here x is an algebraic function sin 3x is a trigonometric function so precedence board goes to algebraic function so x is the first function isn't it now first function into integral of second is sin integral of sin x is minus cos 3x minus cos 3x but it is a function of a function also divided by the derivative of the x that is 3 minus integral of x is 1 into again integral of integral of the derivative of x is 1 into integral of second function is this minus cos 3x by into dx now rearranging with how minus 1 by 3x cos 3x minus uh, into minus plus 1 by 3 into integral cos 3x uh, into x now we have to find the integral value of cos 3x cos 3x is sin 3x by 3 so we get minus uh, 1 by 3x cos 3x plus 1 by 3 into cos 3x is sin 3x plus c this is the answer This is the another question in the product form. Okay. Let us discuss another question. I is equal to integral of x e raised to x into x. Here also, x is the algebraic function, e raised to x is the exponential function. So the presence goes to algebraic. So this is u, this is v. First function in u. Integral of second is e raised to x minus integral of the derivative of first function that is x is 1 into integral of second function is e raised to x dx. Okay. Now x e raised to x minus integral of 1 into e raised to x find the product of this and integrate therefore x e raised to x minus uh, e raised to x plus c if we take 1 e raised to x outside e raised to x into x minus 1 plus c is the answer ok That's function is. Integral of log x. Here, we have only one function which is unintegral. We cannot find the integral value of the logarithmic function as well as inverse of log functions there. So, we arrange this function as integral of log x into 1 into dx now it is in the form u here 1 is the algebraic function and log x is the logarithmic function so algebraic function has third priority and logarithmic function has second priority so logarithmic function becomes the first function Therefore, log x into 1. Log x into integral of 1 dx minus. Integral of derivative of log x d by dx of log x into integral of 1 dx into dx. Here, log x into integral of 1 is x minus 
derivative of x is 1 by x into integral of 1 is x into dx. Now x log x minus of integral of 1 dx. Integral of 1 is x. So x log x minus x plus c. So the answer is x into log x minus 1 plus c is the answer. Integral of log x is x into log x minus 1 plus constant of integration. Present. Now this function is integral of x log x into dx. In x log x also, logarithmic function has the priority first, that is logarithmic function, then algebraic function. So log x into instead of 1 here x log x into x here it is first function second function first function into integral of x dx minus integral of d by dx of log x into integral of here we have x dx so log x into integral of x is x square by 2 here also we have x square by root 2. Isn't it? Now x square by 2 in the log x minus. Here 1 by 2 into integral of x dx. That is equal to x square by 2 log x minus half into integral of x is again x square by 2 plus c. Now, here we have 4 is the denominator. So, here it can be written as 2x square by 4 log x. 2 and 4 gets 2 minus x square by 4 plus c. 1x square by 4 can be taken outside x square by 4 into 2 log x minus 1 plus c is the answer. x square by 4 into 2 log x minus 1 plus c. Next question is i is equal to integral of x r tan cos x. Here tan cos x is inverse circular function therefore its priority is 1 x is an algebraic function so its priority is 3 so it can be rearranged as integral of tan inverse x into x into x now it is in the form uv so first function into integral of x is x square by 2 minus integral of d by dx of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square into integral of x is again x square by 2 into x. Now it can be written as that is x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 into x square divided by 1 plus x square into x. Therefore, we have x square by 2 tan inverse x minus 1 by 2 into here. I am writing this as 1 plus x square minus 1 by 1 plus x square into x. 
oh, one one is added and one one is subtracted. So x square by two tan inverse x minus one by two in the integral of one plus x square by one plus x square one minus one by one plus x square into dx. That is x square by two tan inverse x minus one by two in integral of 1 is x minus 1 by 1 plus x square is again tan inverse x integral of 1 by 1 plus x square is tan inverse x plus c isn't it similarly we can find the integral value of the product of two functions ok another question is log x the whole square. This question is also an unintegrable function contains only one function which is unintegrable. So it can be written in the form log x the whole square into 1 into x. Log x the whole square into 1 into x. Then first function will be integral of 1 is x minus the derivative of log x the whole square 2 log x are in function of a function form into the derivative of log x is 1 by x into integral of 1 is x dx. So the x and x get cancel now. x into log x the whole square minus here it can be written as log x into 2 into dx. You will find log x function has second priority and 2 is an algebraic function which has third priority. So x into log x the whole square minus minus is common. So log x into integral of 2 that is 2x. Minus integral of the derivative of log x is 1 by x into integral of 2 is 2 x into dx. Now x and x get cancelled. That is equal to x into log x the whole square minus 2x log x. Minus in the minus becomes plus. Integral of 2x. Integral of 2 is again 2x. So the final answer will be x into log x the whole square. Minus 2x into log x plus 2x plus c is the answer. Next question is. is equal to sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x here for x is equal to tan theta so 2x by 1 plus x square 1 plus x square is equal to 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta that is sin 2 theta. It becomes sin 2 theta. And dx is equal to the derivative of tan theta is c square theta into d. 6 square theta maybe. Now it becomes integral of sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x square is equal to 
साइन को साइन में होती है क्या इंडो डीएक्स से सिक्स पर आप देखते हैं क्या इंडो इंटी क्या बट साइन को साइन में क्या है स्टी क्या तो टी क्या इंडो सिक्स पर आप देखते हैं क्या इंडो इंटी नाउ फाइंड क्या this is u and this is v theta is u theta is a algebraic function which has priority in 3 6 for theta is a d function which has the priority in 4 so 2 theta is u integral of 6 for theta d theta minus integral of derivative of 2 theta is 2 into integral of 6 for theta Integral of six square theta is uh, tan theta into d theta. Here also we can say that two theta in tan theta minus two into integral of tan theta is log of theta plus tan theta. Plus from this and theta is equal to x therefore theta is equal to tan inverse x and sin theta is equal to root of 1 plus tan square theta that is root of 1 plus x square substitute so, the values here we have 2 into theta is tan inverse x 2 tan inverse x tan theta is x minus 2 into log sec theta is root of 1 plus x square plus tan theta is x plus c so we have 2x into tan inverse x minus 2 log modulus of x plus root of 1 plus x square plus c existence. Clear. Let's go to x. Integral of log x by x square. It can represent integral of log x is a first function because x priority is 2 and uh, 1 by x square is the second function. Mm -hmm. Now, first function into log x and integral of 1 by x square minus 1 by x minus integral of the derivative of log x is. 1 by x or into integral of 1 by x by r minus 1 by x into dx. Isn't it? That is equal to minus of 1 by x log x minus into minus minus plus integral of 1 by x by r dx. But 1 by x by r is again minus 1 by x minus 1 by x log x plus minus 1 by x plus c is the answer that is integral of log x by x square can be written as log x i into 1 by x square and uh, applying the product rule and finding it minus 1 by x into log x plus 1 plus c next question is integral of Sin goes 2x by 1 plus x square. In this question, in 2x by 1 plus x square, we put x equal to tan theta, which implies that tan inverse x is equal to theta. 
carnivores actually comes it. Therefore, two x by one plus x square that is sine inverse two tan theta by one plus tan square theta into dx. Here we are not change the with respect to the period. Temporal of a, the function is given a substitution for x is equal to tan theta. So we get the integral of tan sin inverse sin 2 theta into dx. That is equal to integral of 2 into theta is tan inverse x into dx. Now tan inverse x is an inverse a function which has priority 1. So here u is tan inverse x and uh, 2 that is tan inverse that is 2 is v. First function in u. Integral of 2 is 2x minus. Integral of 2 is 2 in the integral of the x that is x 2x minus. The derivative of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square into integral of 2 is again we get 2x into it. Now 2x of tan inverse x minus here we give one substitution for 1 plus x square is equal to d. So 2x dx of is equal to dt. So it becomes integral of 2x dx is dt by t that is 2x tan inverse x log modulus of t plus c. The final answer will be 2x into tan inverse x minus log modulus of t is 1 plus x square plus c. This is the final answer. This way, we can find the integral of the product of two functions using interpretation.